What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video, we are jumping into Planet Hulk World Breaker issue number two. What we saw from issue number one is a thousand years in the future. A thousand years from present day on the world of Sakaar. We have seen the Grand Priestess known as Venkira. She is attempting to rid this planet of all green-skinned people. Wanting to completely annihilate them. We find ourselves following Amadeus Cho. After his granddaughter has come to him. Asking for help to rescue her little brother. The two of them find themselves completely outmatched. Surrounded by sentinels. Amadeus knows that they are going to have to enlist the help of the one, the only, Bruce Banner. Now, be sure to subscribe to the channel, make sure that you like this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so we are picking up, and the Sentinels, they are hitting these two with as much gamma inhibitors as they can possibly give them, while Amadeus goes to take the full blunt of this blast. That is when his granddaughter steps up and she is able to absorb this energy. Not for a long period of time, but she is able to take it. She may not be able to smash like Amadeus or Bruce Banner, but she is strong in her very own way. Amadeus knows that she cannot take this blast for much longer. He needs just a moment to think. To think about what he is going to do here. That is when he smashes the ground. Lava comes pouring out. What he did is broke away a small piece of land. The two of them go floating down the lava river while the sentinels are left on the shore side. In the distance, what we can see is the Grand Priestess. Not wanting to send the sentinels in hot pursuit after them. She knows that old Cho, he may still have enough brains to be planning for them attacking them. She knows that they need the sentinels here, defending the fortress, just for a couple more days, because after that, none of this is going to matter. And so, as the two of them float down the river, she cannot help but worry about her brother, about all of those children, because while they do kill the green-skinned adults, they are keeping the children for something more sinister. Amadeus knows. He knows that if they are keeping children, more than likely, she is experimenting on them, using them for some other kind of plan. And while she wants to go rescue her brother, Amadeus says that they can't do this alone. They, they have have to go get Banner. They have to get the strongest one of all of them. And then they can take care of everything. As they pass by the Sky City. Floating up there like there is nothing going on. Amadeus says that that might not be fair. They might have their own issues that are currently ongoing. That is what takes them to the steeps. The last place anybody ever saw the Green Scar. As they make their way through here, this is where they see a patrol. As this patrol is making their way through the wasteland, this is when they run into a small little kit. A little tiny kit, or at least that is what it appears to be. It is still green skin, which means they are still obligated to kill it. As they light this thing ablaze, laughing while they do it, that is when we see it grow in size, becoming 20 times the size that it was. This patrol is taken out. Amadeus letting us know that this thing is called a gamma line, made them by accident a few centuries ago, but they are completely harmless as long as you leave them alone. Making their way through the last battle the Green Scar ever fought. A hundred years ago, the two of them had stood here. They defended the last Shadow Elders against the Horde of the Fifth Imperium. And Banner, Banner did what Banner does. Ever since then, he has yet to let the monster out again. This is where they find a small hut. Going inside, this is definitely Banner's place, but currently he is not here. As they look at all the pictures, they see the woman that Banner had loved. The Green Scar's queen. Her name being Kira. Also seeing a picture of Jen, aka She-Hulk. She had come to help them fight, but in the end, she went another 
another way. She helped negotiate the long peace, the one between the third and fourth Imperia. Somehow, through everything that they have endured, she still believes in law. She is still very much alive, being an original hope. It would be hard for her not to be alive. Asking what happened and where is she? This is when they are interrupted by the arrival of Banner. Banner saying that it has been 97 years. 97 years since Amadeus and Banner had seen one another. After all of this time, he is still refusing to call him Bruce. Amadeus' granddaughter not wasting any time, not even giving her name. Just saying that they need his help. They need the help of the Hulk. As we see Banner, he starts to get angry. The green man almost coming out. He is able to control it. Apologizing to them, but letting them know that the Hulk is unavailable. Walking out of the hut, they go following after him. While she tries to explain herself, to explain why they need the help of the Hulk, he remembers a thousand years ago, he stood with the woman that he loved, and he told her that they should go, they should just disappear and never fight again. She told him that he didn't have to fear himself, so they went back to save the world, and that ended with her dying, along with thousands of others, gone in an instant, when Crown City had fallen. With Amadeus' granddaughter going on to say that there is an evil priestess. She is killing green-skinned individuals. All except for the little one she is kidnapping. Banner not sure how he could possibly help. She lets him know that he is the strongest of all of them. Banner saying that it is the same thing generation after generation. People don't really want to make things better. They just want to make things worse for the people that they hate. That's all they try truly want from the Hulk is for him to punish their enemies. While she says that she just wants to save her brother, he doesn't fully believe this. She lets Banner know that she carries his curse, but all it gives her is the strength to endure. He has all the strength in the world. He could change things in an instant, but he is choosing not to. With Banner getting angry, letting them know that they need to go, she says fine, that they are gonna go find She-Hulk, that she has had a thousand years, and though even Banner says no, Cho's granddaughter believes that she can make up her own mind. This this is where we see the green man come out, letting them know that if they keep pushing, all of them will die. But she looks at Bruce, and she lets him know, even in his hulked out state, that at this point, you are already dead, so what could you be scared of? This is where we see the Hulk walk away, walking directly into the lava, and disappearing. That is what takes us over to Sky City. They have gotten a message from Amadeus. He is insisting to speak with Jin, but they say that this cannot happen, unless they want Sky City to smash into the fallen world below. Jin Jin can never be disturbed. And what we see is Jen hooked up to a whole bunch of wires sitting on some kind of seat strapped down to it. By all appearances, they are using She-Hulk to keep this city afloat. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. So we're getting small bits and pieces of what has happened over a hundred years ago. There was a great battle. A battle that had put Bruce Banner at pause. Stopped him from turning into the Hulk for at least 97 years. It put him into isolation. Away from everybody and everything. And in his absence, the priestess has been able to rise up. The truth is, Bruce Banner has lived for a thousand plus years. Which means he has seen generations come and generations go. He has seen cities erected into marvels of construction. He has also seen them decimated in a day. But Bruce Banner, he's not necessarily wrong. Generation after generation have come to him. But they don't want to make things better. They just want Hulk to smash. They want him to crush their enemies. 
and Wakala, the the daughter, the granddaughter of Amadeus. She only wants her brother saved. She would be lying to herself if she wouldn't be happy seeing Hulk just demolish the priestess. Bruce Banner knows that he is a weapon. He is a weapon of absolute destruction. And after living all of these years, he doesn't want to be a part of anything. Though Kala does bring up the good point that what is the point of you if you are just out here doing nothing, being Bruce Banner, staying away from everyone and everything. At this point, you might as well already be dead. So why would any of this matter to you? But what will matter is when he learns the truth of She-Hulk. We could very well see the Sky City come falling from the heavens. The era of the Hulks. It has long passed. Sakaar not being what it once was. Nothing more than a hellish wasteland. But the era of the Hulks, it seems to be returning. It is only a matter of time we can see it on the horizon. And it is only a matter of time before the Green Scar comes to take back what is rightfully his. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know your theories. If you would like to get caught up on everything going on with this series, be sure to check Check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It is going to get you completely caught up on everything happening with Planet Hulk. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by joining the channel membership. Much like Patreon, having five different tiers from $1 to $50. From loyalty badges to getting free comics every single month. Not only does this help out the channel tremendously, but you are getting tons of perks in the process. Now, if you are unable to do any of this, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.